this is the condition of the our previous video about how to find the column space and null space okay in this video we are going to see how to find the null space first we start with what is the null space So null space is an important concept because it is related to whenever you are applying the linear transformations related to the kernel of the transformation. Okay, So that time this is more important. What is the null space? This is simply the solution set set of the homogeneous system. System of equation. Equation. Suppose your system is A times X equal to 0. Okay. And it is denoted by n of a. Okay, here a is the corresponding the coefficient matrix. So before we are going to proceed, we require two things. We require first one is what is the basic variable. Second one is what is the free variable. These two are the important concept. First one is basic variable or some people they call it as a leading variable. Basic variable and the second one is free variable. So what is my basic variable? Okay. The basic variable is here. The variables in the system corresponding to pivot elements. So, the last class, last video. We seen what is the pivot position, pivot columns, correct? This is corresponding to pivot columns. And the matrix are called basic variable okay so you know what is the pivot column that is column space we are finding at the time we find the position correct that is the second one is what is the free variable the other variables are other than the pivot columns. Okay, other variables are free variable. Okay, so we have to already find what is the basic variable. What is that? Next, one more thing I want to emphasize that is Jordan Gauss Jordan elimination method that algorithm preserves the null space. So, this is I want to say the remark. The null space of A is 
is preserved by gas showdown elimination method what is the meaning is that is n of a equal to n of u where u is the rho reduced echelon form of the matrix a okay so that is so whenever you want to find the null space of a you simply find the null space of u is very both are same okay so what we see in the previous example the same example only we are going to take okay that is our given matrix r a equal to first row is 1 2 0 3 Minus one, minus two, one, one, zero. Third row is one, two, minus three, minus seven, zero, one, two, minus two, minus four, and three. This is our matrix. Correct. Now I am going to see. i am going to so how to find the null space of a so so from our result i know that n of a equal to n of u so first i am going to so that meaning is i want to find the null space of a is equal to null space of u so that is i want to find ax equal to that is solution set of solution set of a0 this guy is equal to the solution set of ux equal to 0 so that is our a now we are going to see so the from the our previous video i already convert the row reduced echelon form that is our u equal to 1 2 0 2 0 0 0 1 three, 3 0 Zero, 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 one, and all the elements are zero in the last row. So this is our U. Okay, the pivot elements are this one, and pivot position is one comma one, and pivot position is two comma three, and pivot position is. Three comma five. Okay, this is the pivot elements. Okay, so that is our C one, C three, and C five. Here only the our pivot elements are sitting. So what I have to do is I want to find the solution. Correct. So that is u x equal to zero. So this implies. My U is nothing. The coefficient matrix are one, two, zero, two, zero, 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 one, three, zero, 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 one. And finally, everything is zero.
then i take the x is suppose how many elements must be there i require five elements because then only i will come so this one is first one x1 x2 x3 x4 and x5 equal to how many zeros we require 1 2 3 4 four zeros only because this is i have four by five matrix so i here here is a five column five rows and one column is then only it become this become four rows one column it will be then only it will be correct next step i want to find what is the my basic variable the basic variables are what will come i already mentioned these are my pivot position the corresponding elements are this guy is multiplied by x1 this one is multiplied by x3 this one is multiplied by x5 so the basic variables are the basic variables are x1 x3 and x5 the free variables are remain anything remain anything is x2 and x4 the free variables are x2 Our aim is I want to write so the given solution in terms of free variables. Okay, so that is our aim. So my equations become x one. So x one plus two x two plus two x four. Equal to zero. Then second equation. Then the second is multiplied by x three plus three x four equal to zero. And last one is x five equal to zero. So here free variables are x two and x four. And here also. so i want to represent in the solution set in terms of free variables so this implies so our solution set is x1 x2 x3 x4 and x5 okay so this guy equal to write as it is okay x5 is 0 X four I take the free variable so X four is depends on X four only and X two also free variable so you take X two is as it is X two so X one is minus two times X two minus two times X four X three is minus three times X four this is my solution set. So I can further I can write as city this guy is yes, x four x two times minus two one zero 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 x four times minus two zero Minus three, one, zero. Yes, I can write it as it is. Correct. So that is x one, x two, x three, x four, x five. This is a solution set. I can represent of. So here x two and x four are some real number. You can choose any real number. Correct. So that is why this is the basis. This is the basis of. Null space. So thus, the basis of null space is x one, 
n of u is minus 2 1 0 0 0 and second is minus 2 0 minus 3 1 0 okay so from our we know that cos jordan elimination method preserve the null space of a and the a reduced row reduced to a clan form so this is equal to the basis of null space of a also so both are same so this is the basis so yes now i find it okay i want to one more again i want to emphasize the solution sets can be described explicitly by solving the reduced system only okay we are not going to solve the our original system is simply reduced and then 